What is up guys? My name is Mark Santamaria. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the RC Vlog. Guys, in a super interesting turn of events, I'm now working on two big RC cars on tailgate of my truck right next to my house. So what happened was last time, the last video I shot, my outcast wouldn't turn. So I felt like the servo was blown, but the servo wasn't blown. I'll tell you what that was in a second. And then I did blow the servo in my X-Max. I knew that was going to happen and I was going to put this guy in there. I've been waiting to put this guy in there. I actually probably should have put it in a while back, but I waited to blow the servo. The servo itself isn't actually blown. The gears are stripped, so that's a little bit different, but let me show you. I've learned so much today. Let me show you what I've learned. So in regards to this beast, basically, I don't know what it was, but it wasn't getting like full throw uh, both directions and steering. I tried to adjust the endpoints and it didn't do anything. I, my mind was blown. I did not know what was wrong with it. I was getting so frustrated. I almost decided to just mail it in and call the tech support, but I didn't do it. I didn't give up. I persisted and I hooked another servo up to it and I did notice that it just wasn't doing full throw. All I did guys was I rebinded it and it looks like it's doing full throw now. However, after I rebinded it, I wanted to recalibrate it. It wouldn't recalibrate because I think the batteries were too dead. So the battery's on the charge now. Hopefully I fixed that thing. I think I did because after I rebinded it, it did do the throw much better than before. Um, in regards to this car, I didn't know how to take the freaking servo off. I'm not gonna lie. So basically how you take the servo off is you remove these eight screws off the top. You remove the eight screws off the top and then you remove the skid plate off the bottom. How's it going guys? And then after you move the skid plate at the bottom, you can just pull everything out. The whole front end comes out and then you can get to the servo. So this is kind of a mess. It started to get dark, which kind of sucks, but hopefully I get this together and everything works just fine. So yeah, this is freaking nuts, guys. I did not think, by the way, those are yoga blocks that I used to prop that thing up when I was calibrating it. Um, this, yeah, I've, I've learned a lot. I've finally learned how to take apart my my X-Max, which is important because now I have more confidence in X-Max. And then binding, seriously, I hate little bugs like that. Like there's no reason why I have to rebind it. Hopefully that fixes it, but if that does fix it, it kind of bothers me, but it kind of doesn't. But let me get this thing together. Oh, here's the parts that you need to put the servo in right there. This is a four, 400 ounce Traxxas servo. Place it with the Traxxas servo, obviously. And then this is the adapter that you need because you're taking this gigantic servo out. So let me get to work. So if you're asking yourself why I don't just work in the garage, um, the reason is because these things are way too big for my workbench. Uh, I need a bigger workbench, but on the tailgate, it's perfectly fine. I can slip things under and all different types of stuff. So we're gonna continue to work on this and it's a beautiful day outside, so I don't mind. Guys, I'm going crazy. I don't know what's wrong with this thing. So my X-Max is in a million pieces right now, but I'm trying to just calibrate this ESC, but watch what happens. All right, it's in calibration mode, steering works. You see how the, re the receiver light dims? It won't let me calibrate when it does that. It's almost like it's not getting enough power, like the BEC is not getting enough power, it's weird. So I did this like, eight million times and then one time it worked but it worked on the wrong remote so i thought i had it fixed see how it dims i don't know why it's dimming i already unplugged that fan uh these batteries are fully charged fully fully charged you can even see on here see i just don't get it guys doesn't make any sense to me. Receiver is 6.2. But it's still dimming. Oh, this is driving me nuts. Alright guys, I know you can't see it, but I have no clue what just happened. So it was acting like it wasn't getting any... Uh, it was acting like the, the receiver was browning out, like it, the BEC wasn't sending enough power. So when I would steer, it would like brown out. Whenever I'd go full throttle, it would brown out. My batteries were fully charged, so I recalibrated it, rebinded it, recalibrated it, and I did it in different orders. And the one that worked is I rebinded it, 
And then after I rebinded it, I recalibrated it after I rebinded it. And then I had to let it sit for like maybe 30 seconds. I don't know if the capacitors had to, I don't, I don't know what happened, um, but I got it working. If you guys know what happened or if you've experienced that before, let me know. Cause man, it is like blowing my mind. It's like, oh, that's the kind of crap that bothers me. Cause I couldn't figure it out. So let me know guys. All right, they're all fixed. The X-Max has a brand new 400 ounce Traxxas servo. It's awesome. I had to set the endpoints. Make sure whenever you put a new servo in there, you reset the endpoints because that will put a lot of stress on servo. That thing did not break. The UDR is perfectly fine, but I think I'm gonna have to replace the servo soon because I heard that's the next thing that goes out. This thing is just driving me nuts. I have no clue what happened. Again, it, it started happening whenever I, I binded the DX5C, so I don't know if it was a process I used, um, but yeah, I, I have no clue. But seriously, it acted like the BEC wasn't sending enough electricity or enough volts to or amps to the receiver, causing it to brown out. That's what it acted like. Guys, if you have any idea what that was, let me know. So basically, anytime I tried to go full throttle or full break when I was trying to calibrate it, the receiver would brown out like the light would actually turn off the, the orange light in the receiver would turn off um and then i let go and it turned back on so it was like it was like it wasn't getting enough power like the bc wasn't powering enough i couldn't get it to freaking calibrate and then finally i rebinded it and then recalibrated it and everything worked fine but it only worked fine after like sitting there for 20 seconds again i don't i i have no clue let me know in the description. I would greatly appreciate it because that's driving me nuts. I have a lot of Arma stuff coming um, and those kind of things drive me bonkers. So uh, anyways, that's it. That's a wrap. All these are good. Whew, that, that, that was a nightmare. I did that all at nighttime. <laughs> I know that was a really random video, but I like to record these problems that I have because if I run into the problem, I'm sure someone else is going to run into it. And I hope it just helps maybe one or two people out there. I don't know what the issue was, but I did get it working. I basically just kept on rebinding and uh, recalibrating until it worked. So it worked. Um, but I hope you liked this video, guys. If you did, smash the like button, subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell, and you guys will see me next time. Later, guys.